I grew up in uh, Hampton, Virginia. You know, Buckaroo has been a pretty big part of my life. My mom used to take us out here. You know, we used to go on the playground. We used to go fishing with my dad over there. Definitely my proximity to water, you know, has influence of what I want to do. As you think about this journey that you started with like this marine biology, you know, I tell everybody, it started with Nemo. I kind of always said I wanted to be a marine scientist ever since I was little. In eighth grade, I applied to the Virginia Institute of Marine Science Estuary Explorers Camp because my mom found it. I loved it so much. I got to experience what it was like being in that field of marine science. That left a huge impact on me and it, it only enforced the fact that I still wanted to do it. From the age of two, he was so into fish. To this day, he gets excited about talking about it as he did when he was two years old. William Mary has a connection to the Virginia Institute of Marine Science, which is why I wanted to apply there. So one of the main things uh, my family was about was how, how are we gonna, we want you to go to college, but how are we gonna pay for it? Receiving the scholarship meant a lot to me because it allowed me to continue my education. All the classes I could take, all the research I could do, like all it's all around me. There are so many opportunities around me. Today I got to meet with Professor Eric Hilton. We got to talk about my research, looking at the age of bowfin. What do otoliths mean? Those the ear bones? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So uh, age based on like the rings. Yeah, excellent. He's just looking at like ear bones, but I'm thinking about like the ramifications this, this can have on like future science, right? That's the point of a, a potential paper. People referencing it to make more science, have people change the future of this species of fish. There's a whole art form to analyzing and thinking about and understanding that type of fishery data. I always wanted to do research here and, and as an undergraduate too. Like I'm, I'm glad for the opportunity. Scholarships literally finance futures for people and gives them so many opportunities that they can do so much to impact the world in their own specified way. If I wasn't given a scholarship, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be here. I wouldn't be able to put myself in a position using the opportunities William & Mary gave me as stepping stone so I could eventually get right back out here where I started from. Started up my research after all these years. And who would think that when you started there, that you would actually do research there and be going to William & Mary? I have an actual picture of me, like in the kids of the junior council, I think in my room. I just look at them like, wow, I really came from just doing that to actually like, you know, now taking a marine biology class, taking a marine fisheries class, you know, doing research here at VIMS, you know, getting a William Mary education is just, it really shows like all my hard work, you know, really just paid off.